Secretary, Bob Crow. Comrades, brothers and sisters, you just heard John Hammett, who's doing, his union's doing a hell of a lot of work on violence at work. Well, the one thing we should do about violence at work is have a go at this government for committing violence against every single worker at the workplace and every single worker that's unfortunately got a job. If anyone believes that it's not a call to do more than marching, they should have a look about the attacks that are going to take place on every single one of you from next year. Every single one of you who has a boss is now saying that you have got to be in employment for two years before you can go to a tribunal. And when you go to a tribunal, you're going to have to stump up nearly £1,500 just to get to a tribunal. At the same token goes, these people are running around the place, freezing people's pay, cutting people's pay, and what they're doing is they're not allowing workers to come into employment. It's absolutely madness when we've got a million builders on the dole and we've got a lack of social housing. Surely it's about time we put the builders back to work to build houses and give those people the right to have the social housing they need to own. It's about time we started laying down our demands because it's no good Ed Miliband coming here and saying that he's with us today. We don't want someone who's just with us. We want him to turn around and say that he's on the side of working men and working women and he's going to refuse to pay him any further cuts. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, as you know, George Osborne delivered a first class rail ticket to London yesterday. I'm going to give you a first class opportunity to tell that cabinet what we should do. We've marched twice now. Not just here, but in Glasgow and in Belfast today. It's about time that meetings like this not only just don't walk up and down, but we turn around and reaffirm our faith and our belief. Now is the time to turn around and say that if we're all under attack, then we've all got to defend ourselves together. And it's about time that we look at the practicalities of having a 24-hour general strike. <laughs> Demonstrations.